Welcome back to another episode of Wilds and Water Sailing. This week we get a glimpse of the much anticipated herring spawn, have our first coastal wolf encounter, and put Aklet's twin keels to good use. All before finally saying goodbye to Porcher Island and setting sail towards the Kinahan Islands. Hey guys, I'm Brooke, this is Conley, and this is our princess slash adventure dog boy. Together we live on board Aklet, our 38 foot tiny home on the water. Join us as we sail around the world and share with you a little bit more of this planet's wild side. So we are here on Porcher Island still and we just checked the weather, the marine weather and at Benila right now it is 36 gusting 46 I believe. So yeah, pretty strong winds. I'm just out here gonna check our line burritos uh, also known as our chafe guards on our on our mooring line here and yeah make sure that they haven't slipped down they're still good not rubbing too much we're pretty fortunate that we get to be on a mooring can right now just at a friend's place um, and we're tucked in pretty good so it's not too bad but you can really see the gusts as they come over the trees here and come across the water towards us. Had a pretty good few gusts, knocked a bit sideways, but so far so good. The trees are really talking too. Must be pretty windy on the other side, probably some big waves on the beach. We hear that our friends down around the southern Gulf Islands right now are getting sunshine and it's beautiful, beautiful spring cruising weather. Yeah, that must be nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 25 knots. 25? Yeah. After spending nearly a week at our friend's place, we decided it was time to mosey Aklot on around the corner and check out a different anchorage with new trails and beaches to explore. We were absolutely loving Porcher, so we didn't want to leave altogether. We just wanted a slight change of scenery and to feel the feeling of swinging at anchor again. The next morning, there were small silverfish rising everywhere around the boat, which could only mean one thing. The herring were finally arriving to spawn and we just happened to have front row seats to a little bit of the action.
about that weather we've been having. <laughs> ah, <good. laughs> Send it. <laughs> Come on, get down there. Send it. <laughs> Ow. <sighs> Since we were witnessing a bit of the action on the inner harbour, we decided to go check out what was happening on the exposed western coast of the island. Although Pacific herring may appear small, their place in the web of life in the North Pacific Ocean far transcends their size. Both a wide variety of marine life as well as First Nations have long relied upon the return of these small yet significant fish since time immemorial. As if the herring spawn wasn't excitement enough, the next morning we finally saw our first coastal wolf. The coolest part about it was that she completely dictated the encounter. I'm sure the wolves had known for a while now that we were in the area, but our patience and quiet presence had paid off. These coastal wolves are such smart creatures, and this female knew we were around, but she made a slow and trusting saunter across the beach in front of us anyway. Good dog, you got it. You got it. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I don't want to embarrass myself anymore. Yeah. <laughs> there is finally some sunshine out today. Oh gosh, does it feel good. So good. Still a few more squalls gonna roll in here, probably snow on us again, but a few moments of sunshine is definitely better than none. Next, we are off to do some dinghy exploring and to check out a potential drying out spot for Acklet. Yeah, it looks good. Hmm. 
What are you loving life? Today we're gonna head over to a dry out spot that we scoped out yesterday, a nice drying mud flat that's about a mile away from where we've been anchored at Welcome Harbor for the last week or so. It's a new moon, so the tide swings are big enough that we'll be able to dry out nicely. And we've got a bunch of things we have to get done on the bottom, but clean off our transducer. We're gonna put zincs on, new zincs, and take the prop off and put in a new keyway. here and we just got our anchor out and our stern anchor out and we've got about four meters or so of water underneath us and we've got about four hours until low tide so we're just gonna go and check out the creek over here and wait for our keels to hit the ground get in here come on yes. oh yeah channel. Rocks are slick. Some local knowledge shared with us about Porcher Island had turned us on to the remnants of this old gold mine. Just a short walk from our drying flats lay pieces of old machinery and mining cars. That is so cool. From the shoreline, a set of small tracks led up into the forest. And of course, we decided to follow them. The tracks were so neat. Covered in moss, they were now long overgrown with small saplings and shrubs. Of course, we wanted to follow them as far as they would go and see what lay at the end. But being pressed for time, with drying out and boat projects on our minds, we decided we'd just have to wait until a later date. Get in there. Come on. Come on, Bert. We have 2.5 meters below us. So we've got about a meter to go until our keels touch the ground. Well, are you going to come in out of the snow? Come on. Get in here. Come on. One touch. Shake, shake, shake. Good dog. One touch. Go on. Get in there. Aklet is a Renke S11, a German-built aluminum hull boat with a shoal draft and twin keels. 
Although boats with such a design are pretty uncommon to see in this part of the world, the large tide swings here on the northwest coast of Canada make for some pretty fun boat tricks and allow us to do work on the bottom without having to haul out at a boatyard. The next day after boat projects were completed, and after nearly three weeks spent getting well acquainted with the north end of Porcher Island, we decided it was time to leave Welcome Harbour behind and set sail towards a new adventure. Next stop, the Kinahan Islands, a small group of islands only safe for anchorage in calm weather, and with the promise of sunshine on the way, it seemed like the next best spot to hit. Thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. And if you have any questions or comments, drop them in the box below. If you want to support the videos we're making, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Thanks so much and we'll see you next time.